SEGA. Oh, come on. <laughs> uh, okay, now there we go. VC face being lazy. Oh, everyone, welcome aboard. There'll be your Captain Ilian tonight, along with... 
Fears a mightly sickly but hungry Lieutenant Rakir at your service. And I think I might know what might be part of uh, the sickness. Uh, there. Mask <laughs> of <laughs> Doom! <laughs> And welcome back to Dawn of War 2 <laughs> Retribution, where we should be more than capable of finishing up with the Tyranids here. And then we'll move on to, well, another faction and see how that goes. Oh yeah, we have two more missions. Yeah, we have, a, we have a side mission here, which is like only the second one so far. And then we have Cyrene, and immediately after this, I believe, unless there's more missions in between, uh, the final mission here. So yeah, we should be more than capable of finishing off this campaign. And yeah, as fun as it is as to just stomp over, pretty much stomp over everything with the Tyranids, the lack of any real uh, story beyond uh, here and there, some explanations and such doesn't really make it worth it. Uh, it uh, no, not really that, it, 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 this is the weakest of the campaigns. That is just plain, uh, yeah, that's just plain truth. I think that's the same line on the as they had on the other one. Brothers and sisters, the human ships have carved large fissures into the world, some deep enough to cleave the buried craft world. We located the Infinity Circuit. The flames reach deep, and every biodome, every soul stone, there was no flicker of spirit, not a single one. Nothing remains for us here. Order to report to the Webway Assembly. Once we return to the Webway, we will collapse the channel to the craft world, sealing this tomb for eternity. Okay. And yeah, we are going to focus more on the melee, not the, not the melee, the ranged of all of this. We're taking the Lictor because they are a bit cheaper than the Tyrant Guards. Mm -hmm. All right. <clears throat> Also, I, I learned today, uh, recently, that... You... you dare violate this tomb, you pathetic, soulless savages! Very well. If you are so eager to hear our cries, I shall shred your mind with the wail of the Banshee! I, I will still give them credit for Do just... the not near the gates or the assembly! just simply great voice acting that they did do for this game but i do find it annoying yeah. that they didn't have specific voice lines for the tyranids and such well they're yeah. tyranids they're an unthinking horde of beasts that they can't negotiate with at all i think they can think though depending uh your high lord and such yeah but it's more that that's how they're seen, and they keep talking towards the Tyranids as if they're expecting them to actually re respond. Well, let's be honest, we humans do that all the time, like... Have you seen a video where someone tries to talk a bear from trying to eat their boat? Uh, point given there, but still it's stupid to try and just talk to the Tyranids. Okay. Yeah. They are, yeah, they are within the, again, cosmic horror level, like, they don't, they literally... They lend their power to hasten our escape. Losing one will slow the assembly's departure into the webway. They view literally everything else, nothing uh, uh, but as a prey or resource. Yeah, as foods. At least yeah. the orcs still. Uh, ex at least the orcs still uh, think of all the other species as at least well, more than cattle. As much as they fight, they only care about the other species as something to fight. Yeah. Do I do feel like again? They should. Uh, I probably they should in future do with the gene steel cults and. Again, that's where you can have banter, conversation, all that going on. Yeah. Especially with all the secret society they have. Okay. 
I'm not sure if I've been mentioning it much. I think I mentioned it at least once, but it's, I've noticed that when we tell them uh, our units to auto-attack is a place, they typically ignore buildings. Well, hmm. I, th th does, it, does those buildings look edible? No, but it's with every faction. Which, <laughs> and in exchange, I will say that I don't believe there are many or basically any they ignore any structure that can't fight back so i think that's actually a bit of a smart programming yeah mm. well, usually you will you will probably target the buildings that find to spec first yeah and hey well, uh, lictor. You? i also learned recently lictor is an actual word okay should i even ask what it means I forgot to, but it, it's a rank. <laughs> okay. There's yeah. no idea if it's a rank that fits these lictors or not. Oh, uh, well. I think it was used in reference to uh, Romans or something. Hmm. Can't say I've known there's too many obvious Romanisms in uh, in uh, in Tyranid names and such. And of them all, the, probably the Imperium actually uses the most Roman sounding uh, names and terms and such. Yeah. And again, it's most likely the, the names we see here is the name that the Imperium has given the Tyranids. True. Okay, someone break that, the rest of you break that instead. Okay. But I, I don't want to complain about this campaign being, I'll generously call it different, but it, it is just so different that it uh, feels a bit disappointing. Come on, all of you move. <laughs> okay. Now we can bring in the big guns. Or rather the big beasties. <laughs> yeah. I find that the gameplay itself is fine. I kind of enjoy it just to see how terrifying the tunnels are. We do get the clips of them in the story, but uh, yeah, just the story... If anything, the story does give us a slight glimpse over the children it's inner working, which is still terrifying. Just true. Just the story in general is kind of basically just that. Yeah, the gameplay is what all the other factions also get. Is just that the Tyranids come with a lot less story compared to the other ones. Yeah. That is what's frustrating. Yeah, but then, uh, I mean, 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 I yeah, I, I prefer to just call them you know, just the more really alien cosmic horror. Yeah. Like, th there is no way to understand them. Like, their intentions to put this book straightforward, but also complicated at the same time. Yeah. Okay, let's see. Blade Fury. Okay. So that's... Yeah, that's surrounding around him, okay. Or it's more likely. Hmm. It also has just a AoE leech to help its regen. Chameleonic oh, blame matter, okay. So we, no we can give that stupid thing. <laughs> we can give the Hive Lords camouflage now as well. I remember something terrifying. Mm -hmm. And this is a beautiful one mind syndicate, I think? 
about hybrid factions, uh, factions that are mixed of two. There were many non canon but they, they measured two canon hybrid factions. And those be what the uh, orc is tearing it? Yeah, that was one of them. Nibble and scavenge at our bodies, mindless vermin. The Inquisition's ships come for all in this sector. It matters not whether you die by our hand or theirs. Right. I was to say is the orc tyrannies are one, and apparently the reason they are pirate is because they have easier to fright than space hulks, since they will be too easily discovered uh, by uh, in orc colonies. But there is a second tyranny the faction. A hybrid faction with what? Uh... <laughs> I think you a big name alone. Uh, yeah. The bladed col cult of the bladed cog. A yeah, dark elder. Uh, no, mm. you went very wrong there. Okay, which then? Tyranid and Mechanicus. Oh, yeah, that would definitely be something. <laughs> yeah, uh, here's the thing. They rose during a civil war with the civil population and the Mechanicus. And the many characters joined this cult, and they took over the planet. I don't know if they are consumed the planet, but they did. This cult took control of the planet and is, at least from the time I've heard of it, in control of it. They ruling it. Yeah, like probably <laughs> we rule till the Tyranid time comes by. Yeah, Tyranids are a problem enough on their own. There's no need to go giving them laser guns and such. Yeah, and just like the yeast in the cold with mechanicus weapons. Yeah. yeah. Let's see. Offensive synapse improves the Hive Lord's damage and melee skill, as well as enhancing synapse, granting these benefits to nearby Tyranids. That might be useful just for giving more range damage. Oh, and there was some that was the chame chame chameleonic one. We can check it out over here in a sec. And only one thing. Hive Lord's Venom Cannon, okay. Not sure if that one will be better than what we have. Uh, let's see. It's uh, level 9. It deals more damage. It attacks faster as well. Less accuracy. More range. And, well, it, it's a Venom Cannon. It's effective against basically everything. 14% uh, range aside to all nearby allies, which is useful since every we're going for mostly everything ranged. Plus 60 damage to vehicles and 25% chance to do extra damage as well. But the description is generic, it seems. Okay, let's equip it all the same. And where is that? Let's see, offensive synapse. Oh, oh, okay, I, I thought it was, <laughs> it's an upgrade for the Lictor. There we go. Now, let's have a look. Tyranny is reinforced, regeneration, and range damage. Let's see, where is that new one? Implant attack. Oh, oh no, it, oh, okay, it's, an inf it's a commander th item instead. Okay. A plus 15 ranged and melee damage. Uh, yeah. <laughs> That's a bit of an easy choice. Oh, God. Okay, so we get either a melee weapon or an upgrade for the Zoan trope. 
Okay. Yeah, I think it shows that they ran short on time with this campaign and just the fact that there's often missions, even without optional missions, we often end up with only two or even one option for our rewards. Yeah. Gods have mercy, they're here! Lads, hurry! Get this thing moving! They're gonna slaughter us! Uh, wait, was that one a bit different than before? Not sure. It, it, that one actually feels different, and he actually sounds terrified! Actually, yeah, it is different! When it was Orc and such, they were ready... It, it was Space Marines and Orc were ready to fight, defend those things. But the Matilities now? They were terrified! Who cares? For once a sp difference, but still only just a small difference, eh? Yeah. He is not impressed by the big car. <laughs> okay, and we automatically get ourselves our swarm lords. Now, let's give everyone their upgrades. Uh, uh, we should double check what upgrade the Lictor actually got from that uh, recycle thing. Oh yeah, I think we're moving with it. Yeah, you're gonna think it probably was a very painful for the developers. They don't shoot on time, on the hardest to write for stories faction. Yeah. Okay, I'm thinking we'll grab the Carnifax and then we'll just grab as many small things as we can. Swarming? Yep. Uh, is there actually <laughs> another... Okay, there, is, there isn't another population expansion, so... Uh, Mm -hmm. Like melee. Yeah, there we go. Just keep making thermagons. And yeah, this is going to, <laughs> this is going to be something with 15% extra range damage on everything around the, the Hive Lord. And well, the Swarm Lord is the Swarm Lord. It's our super unit. It's going it's not going to need an extra boost of power. Holy crap! Look what it does to the blood ladders! Yeah, it lets the blood flow. Their blood flow. Demons oh, even have blood. Good question. Okay, capture that. And we don't have any more troops incoming, it seems, so we, we only got a single group of Termagants. Oh, uh, well. Let's just destroy all the strongholds, and we know how this goes by now. We we piss them off, we, they send in the land raider, and we turn the land raider in just a <laughs> cracked open canned foods. Just double checking, yep, everyone has their upgrades. Oh, there actually is enough. For, uh, okay, how did I miss that one then? <laughs> I was checking over the mini map earlier for that. Uh, let's actually stop the production of these then. But that's still not enough to actually get them. Actually, I will. I, we can't get the. We can't get the Carnifax now, but I know how we can get it though. Let's send out the four a group of quote unquote scouts. And yeah, I guess that goes to show how quickly enemies or units can get killed when they aren't in synapse. Okay. Now, one Carnifex. Now, requisition. 50 short, of course. Okay. Swarmlord is taking a beating, though. Okay. Let's see. Any boxes for us to break? For requisition, or we just go grab one of the depots. Okay. Actually, does this work? Yes, that works in the swarm lords. Okay. <laughs> the only weakness that you can't that we can't repair, the swarm lord is now just negated. <laughs>
All right. Holy. Just need to find our way through. Get the red position. Uh, over there. Actually, there is one over here. So let me just quickly grab the lictor. And send them over for this. The rest. Move on. There. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Pardon? Yep. Pardon? Yeah, my, my stomach really is just acting up today, it seems. Oh, hello there. Bunch of red shirts coming in. Time for the oh. wedding dance. Oh, Mom, hell. <laughs> Go out. <laughs> I just got the joke. Well, it's their fault for dressing entirely in red. But people don't know he made a Star Trek joke. Yeah. And, well, let's be honest, the Imperial Guard are basically the Imperium's red shirts. Okay, you can catch up again. Now, Carnifax. Oh, come on. Okay, over this way then. I was going to ignore that. Since we don't actually have a need for many more respawn points, since we pretty much just stomp through everything. Okay, we just need 60 more. And that gives 100. Okay. So, one Carnifax. One squad, and pushing in. Okay, let's see. Barbed Strangler and Spore Insists. Thornback upgrades, increase the health. Venom Cannon. That <laughs> the Venom Cannon is just better than everything else, so that is of course going to be the, the, yeah, the one we get. Focus your targets. Boom. Okay, there we go. Now we've got the full squad of heavies. <laughs> hey, hello there. <laughs> What's it? What were you pointing at? That, that laser pointer. It might get you killed. Also, yes, I finally realized slash remember that we can actually turn the camera <laughs> because of because we could earlier today with the showcase of Shadow Tactics. <laughs> oh yeah, that means we can also get some good close-ups. <laughs> I don't think it's ever actually told that you can actually turn the camera. So let's, just, let's literally take another perspective on this entire scene. Okay, get up there and get rid of them. So, the only two melee units we have at the moment are the Lictor and the Swarm Lord. I saw them fall out of the tower! <laughs> okay, Terminator's next. Yeah. yeah it, it, <clears throat> this campaign has the fact that it gives a bit of an insight in the. Yeah, in the hive mind and such. And, well, there's just stomping through, pretty much stomping through everything, but it, 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 that's basically the only things that this campaign has towards it. At least on this difficulty. And, but we stream more for story, not for, well, difficulty and challenge. Yeah. Okay. 
a lot of resources that we have no use for because, well, we can't bring anything else more to, f to the field. <laughs> But yeah, I guess that does go to show just how absolutely terrifying the synapse effects of uh, the the, the the Tyranids is. They are quite literally stronger together than uh, apart. Like, <laughs> they are the power of friendship made evil. Oh god, that's one way to put it. But yeah, it does demonstrate that... Uh, also, why do they... They may really try to target uh, any synapse uh, creatures to do as much disruption in this uh, power up as possible. But they will yeah. get busy and wind the temporarily until a new one has been sent in. This is usually quick, but it could be enough uh, to change the tide, or at least by time. Yeah. yeah. Typically, though, it is only buying time. Okay. Actually, just focus that thing down. Yeah, and I repeat, let me try. Yeah. They're not easy targets. Now I can feel it. The frenzy. The bloodlust that all Kyra spoke of. Uh, uh, pretty sure we didn't lose any. Uh, uh. Uh, quote unquote allied because they're attacking the cultists there, which are counted as a third faction and thus a quote unquote ally. Anyway, uh, we can't we can't use it in the fog of war. No, I will note that that cutscene was actually in a bit of a different angle because we <laughs> because I twisted the camera around. <laughs> oh, holy! <laughs> Look at that! Yeah, they're going pretty speedy. Uh, just literally st stomping through stuff. Oh, I, I meant the icon you weave around with. A little tempted with an eyeball switching yeah. around. <laughs> Everything focus this thing down. A bit too late. The land leader is lost. Disengage. Leave the cowards to their doom. Digestion pool war gear. Biomorph that allows the Hive Lord to instantly reclaim the resources of a Tyranid unit, healing him and restoring energy. Okay. And it looks like we're going into the last mission not at max level for once. Well, come on! Let's see, Omega Claw. Uh, the, Knights of, uh, yeah, the Knights of Eternity Space Marines placed a heavy reliance on their venerable dreadnoughts. Confronted with such a you know, formidable foe, a tendril of High Fleet Kraken evolved these claws, formed from crystalline growths not in in indigenous to this galaxy. Against these, not even the endamantine armor of the dreadnoughts could prevail, resulting in many casualties. And the Zoanthrope, oh. which gets a focused war blast. What are we? We can't get, we can't get to, we can get to level 10. If we sell, yes, yeah, if we sell stuff, it's... We, we, I think we have plenty of this. We are on the final mission, so... Yes, yeah, should be plenty we don't need, and we are not too far from max level anyway. There. Uh, we're not touching that one. There and there. Uh, can't dispose of. Okay, that must be the special that we started with. Uh, get rid of that one. Okay, just a bit more. There we go. Okay. Enlarge Siding Talents. Increase the damage of the Hive Lord and Tyranny in Synapse range. Like, we haven't already got enough damage boosts, huh? Yeah, and now no we can use this thing. Yes! <laughs> there we go. Okay. 
Like I, I can see some, uh, some use, you know, some fun being in replaying this campaign just with completely different builds because there's just so many stuff that you can bring along. But personally, I don't. I think the differences would be too small. Wait, wait. Giving equipment. Yep, it's the warp corroding venom cannon, level ten. Yes, I, I just wanted to be sure they are blinked. <laughs> Okay. Hmm. Shall we actually bring the Zoan trope this time to see if that's <laughs> if that upgrade was worth it, or shall we just stick with the Raveners? Hmm. hmm. We barely used them to begin with, so we might as well use them here. Yeah, the Zoan trope or the other? Yeah, so, so, but they, don't they heal? They have, they should have a healing effect, yeah. Mm. But the problem is that they tend to stick behind the lines because their attack is so much longer. I'll have to manually, keep, I'll have to manually keep it moving up. And here, Kyrus goes for his uh, sauna bath again. Here we go. The last battle again. Okay. Yeah, I, I really hope that the next mission, the next faction we pick, is a lot more interesting story-wise. Because, but, well, at the absolute least, it can't get lower than this on that aspect. Okay. Give them their upgrades. Okay. 
Now, someone go capture that, someone capture that. And yeah, we'll just have to push forward, destroy Kairos' uh, little shrines again. Okay. Now. Focused war blasts. Needs line of sight. Did that say two times damage there for a sec? I saw something pop up on the screen there. It might be because the weapon that the Hive Lord is using now is specifically designed against demons, I believe. Oh, and the Zoetrope is almost dead. Yeah, probably should have stuck with the Raveners, so... Oh well. Uh, uh, capture this, that we can call in some... Actually, we don't have room for any reinforcements, I think. Oh, well, grab the resources, at least. And, yeah, just move on. I kind of want to get through this as quickly as possible, without rushing things too much, because we know that this group isn't going to die easily, so... Plus, we have no room <laughs> for reinforcements, so we only need to really get them after we get the population upgrades. Oh, what the heck? There is something again, two times damage. And again, yeah, that, that must that must be you. Or does this gun suddenly have critical hits or something? Yeah. It's shredding through them like saber. Yeah, I mean, yeah, the weapon we... was designed to be used for the final mission. I think so. Yeah. We lost the Lictor, but, well, it's not a big loss. Actually, that means we now have space to actually bring in units that we want. Because as, as cool as Lictors are, we are fully built around melee, you know, yeah, not melee, ranged attacks. And this, this also is the fact that it takes so long for the Zoentrip to attack. Probably really should have stuck with the Raveners. Yeah, oh, well. we should have. decades have been an honor. Commend my service to the Emperor. Emperor, keep you, librarian. I go now to redeem our chapter. Such are the ways of demons to lie and mislead us. Destroying it is the only way to avoid its influences. I think you'll need to face it to destroy it, Gabriel, not turn your body back on it. <laughs> yeah, I, I, still want, mm, yeah, I still want to know what the hell Gabriel has been up you know, to all this time and how he even ended up here. Because he kind of shows up out of nowhere. Because not even not even when we play as the Space Marines does it actually tell why. No, not, we know the why, but more the how he got in here. Okay. Um, let's go for the blood again. Okay. Yeah, I probably could have gotten this hive instead. That swarm from there. But oh well. Yep. He is just practically just stomping through them. <laughs> I don't mean yeah. shooting through them. True, but. <laughs> He hardly needs to stop to even keep moving. Like, I'm pretty sure he just one shot at that bloody dreadnought there. Okay. Turn that off. Okay. Okay, now we've got a bit of a swarm building. Okay, move forwards and just eat. Oh, it, 
Uh-oh. <laughs> Wow. I just imagined something, uh, something that probably would be a piece of Kairos. What then? Turn your stone to eat all the skulls. <laughs> well, it would be biomass. But I would devour it if possible. Okay, those last two squads were stopped there. Okay. <laughs> Plunk plun and gone. And again, we, we are just, we're playing this on the same difficulty as we, we, we had with the other factions, so it is just that the, these assholes deal that much more damage, I think, due to the synapse. Everyone except for these move on. The rest can catch up. Or they can catch up after they're done. Okay. And moving on again. Uh, yeah, this way. Okay. Might as well tag all of these as just one group, since, well, they're all the same and they're meant to be swarming. Um, where are they? This way, you dumbasses. Ooh, population thingy! Yep, which means bigger swarm. <laughs> we should probably get some more of the heavy hitters. Let's see, that should give us 20, so we won't be able to get... <clears throat> we won't be able to get a... Why can't I... Oh, they're teleporting away, that's why. All the blood ravens! Just... The random dreadnought that was in the way as well. Okay. Actually, you lot that way, you go grab that. You're straggling behind, so you might as well capture things. Turn this off here, and let's see. Is there any group that we can call in? Warrior Brute, Lictor, Ravener. Tyrant Guards, zo another zone trope. We need 10 more to bring in a Carnifax. And 5 more for a Swarm Lord. Yep. Or not, we did. Oh, right, we haven't. Oh, wait, did capturing this expand the limit as well? Okay, I, I think I never noticed that before. Which would mean that we should be able to call in, yeah, call in a Carnifax once yeah, we capture that point. And it kind of makes sense uh, for you to have that special function, since, again, it's the thing to do. Yep. Warm. We will run, consume. Someone take that thing out. Yeah. It, it is just the, the weapon, we're like, <laughs> half its health gone in one shot, and the other half in the second. Okay, is that keep pushing forward. Again, the weapon is organic. Yeah. Yeah, shut up. How about we offer yours instead? Not like you care <laughs> about the difference. 
Okay. Lost thirds, and then we just need to beat his face down. Hmm. I wonder how we will deliver the the last blow, since so far we've be, we, yeah, we've been calling in artillery to finish him off. Well, but, but we artillery don't have with our, the space um, marines, uh, no. and with the orcs, our big rock. Yeah. <laughs> yeah it's uh, Carnifex. No, you can't capture stuff. Okay, all of you little dumbasses, go over there for a bit. Most of the big boys move on. I'm suspecting Wait. there will be some defenders here. You have someone with a heavy machine gun uh, trying to deal with this uh, swarm. We had. <laughs> They're dead now. Well, he had, he had friends, apparently. Oh, yeah, that, that explains why they're suddenly dead stopped. Okay. Uh, let's finish here. Also, let's give you the Venom Cannon, so you are even more useful than you already are. Oh, uh, well. <laughs> Just opening up stuff, well, space for more big guys. Okay. Let's go deal with that Dreadnought, and actually, if we let one of these die off, we can bring in another Carnifex. <laughs> oh, damn, I just realized I had a drug in my teeth. That's, this might be the final... Uh, uh, ...chino in the episode thingy. You could yeah. put my face on a Carnifex body. Okay, finish those off. And wonder, looks like we How did they make that uh, raw sound? Uh, probably a bunch of manipulating other wars or such. Like some, sometimes the uh, sounds from uh, games and uh, movie creatures can be really strange. And there is another population cap over there. Yeah. So yeah, we're definitely getting a second Carnifex. Yes. But yeah, also you're very correct since I think many people still surprised were how they made the raptor sounds in Jurassic Park as an example. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, you, you do know how uh, what it, it's originally supposed to have been, right? Yeah, I believe in some sort of chicken or something. Uh, the sounds the raptors do are heavily modified sounds of turtles having sex. <laughs> oh yeah, that's okay. <laughs> yeah, whether or not that I just mentally <laughs> down or something, or just to... What? Uh. <laughs> and I think T-Rex was an raw... An elephant trumpeting is a mixed in with tiger and lion sounds to get. <laughs> of course. And there's our second Carnivax. Okay, just eat whatever you see. And. And food for everyone! <laughs> we should have room for yet another one in a second. Another Carnifex? Yep, because there's another expansion over here. So, you warriors go capture that for a second. You boys go have fun <laughs> with the little squishies. Okay, I think we, we should be fine with three Carnifexes, a Swarm Lord, and of course, the High Lord. <laughs> oh, okay, we. <laughs> We have a. <laughs> apparently, there is a roof to the amount that the population will go, apparently. But that just means we're going to sacrifice some uh, less useful units. Wait, we can't recruit more? Yep, the maximum cap is literally 140. So we can't bring in oh. more. <laughs> okay. What else can we bring in, though? Yeah, we just if if we get rid of one of our weaker squads, we'll have enough space again. All right. 
right. So, there we go. Number I three. I think we can just do most warbies. <laughs> Why do that when we have three of these big boys with their venom cannons that are literally effective against everything? Has that tank found out? <laughs> yeah, despite us complaining, we have been having quite a lot of fun. Yeah. It's just that the fun has been coming more from just stomping everything's heads in so easily. It's the, the power fantasy aspect of it, and less of a story uh, enjoyment. Ooh, okay, apparently Space Marines can bounce. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they, uh, they, they did not last long! <laughs> and now I wonder how long this guy is going to last. Choke? Oh... Wait. I might start a timer. Yeah, like the moment that start, I, I, I'm going to make a note here. Just try and remember to put up a timer of how long Kairos actually lasts with this. So, okay. <laughs> About the hour mark. I will laugh my ass off if he somehow one shot me with this weapon. <laughs> That I find a bit doubtful, but I do think we might be able to bring him down before he can bring up the pillars to become invulnerable. Uh, all right, we have another thing we should probably capture over there. So we probably should uh, be ready to mass produce the little swarmies. Yeah, for what does get lost gets replaced by many, many biting moss. Just the three Carnifaxes leading the charge. I think the Hive Lord might be starting to feel a bit inadequate if they even have the capacity to. I, I, I'm unsure if they even understand the concept of it. Just maybe above the concept of the sons. Just for the fun of it as well, just improve damage on our hero, our singular hero. And set this thing to constantly spit out Termagants. Okay. Yes, yes, we know you had the ghost pepper for lunch. Okay, just everything focused on Kyrus and see how that goes. Yep. Yep. Let's get at least get them out of melee. Okay. Now, everyone just keep firing. Oh, it's going down fast than the other times. And now he, he brings up his little shields. Okay, so not that fast, but still very fast. Can we hurt him now that the bar is exposed? No, he remains immortal until all three have been destroyed. It did not take long. They are breaking him. We are getting Termagons sent in, apparently. Hmm. But I imagine that the Dragon says they are the weakest are likely the ones likely to get replaced. I think we lost one of our so-called honor guards. <laughs> Carnifex just turns out uh, turns around annoyed and swats it into attacks. Come on, keep firing, assholes. Really? <laughs> Only the back row gets knocked back by that? Ugh. Okay, you go 
pick on those two. Well, I want to get a refill but of my uh, drink here, but I want to see how this goes. Come on. Points. <laughs> Again, just random termagants <laughs> that get knocked around. Also, something we probably should have done. <laughs> Turn the <laughs> it's even more in our favor. Might is personally pissed at Kyrus. Uh, uh, Toronto, f <laughs> okay, <laughs> just shove these up his ass. <laughs> well, that's one way to give a demon the finger. I honestly was thinking we'd do something else than use our strongest global ability. <laughs> okay, and we gain nothing. All right. <clears throat> okay, and this time I really should remember something. of this lunar cycle. The final transmissions from subsector Aurelia filed 43.6 years ago. By order of the Holy Inquisition, subsector sentenced to Exterminatus. Hive fleet emerges from all sides. Exterminatus fleet driven away. Defense attempted, but Imperial forces already crippled. Imperial guard losses reached 94% before forces withdrew. Surviving loyal Blood Ravens losses, total. They refuse to retreat. Okay, I do like that they get their own e ending, at least. But that has been for most of the factions so far, all of them, in fact. And this time I'm actually going to remember to time how long this bloody, these bloody credits take, because they just go on for so freaking long. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. And, okay, I, I was saying, I think we did our record in defeating Kairos this time. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, he really uh, did go here? down a lot faster. I'm, I'm not, I can't say really specifically, yeah, specifically how fast, but I think that was less than five minutes. <clears throat> I think at least half. Just it felt like we did it, it on half the time. That uh, the entire mission felt like if we just half in in time busy spent with the other two factions so far. Yeah. Dang it, I do feel like most, some part of it might have been with that special weapon. Maybe, yes, it was constantly dealing two, da two times damage. <clears throat> but yeah, now we have a bit of a dilemma, because we know these credits are going to go on for, for longer than they fight with Kairos at the absolute least. So, do we call it a short stream, or do we give the next faction a shorter stream? So let's give the next faction a uh, slight shorter stream sense. Okay. Oh, slightly less than half of the usual, but okay. <clears throat> yeah, do, I don't want, do, do we need to see through these credits all every time? Uh, I think we... I should be able to skip them, but we haven't skipped them. Shall we skip them this time and then I'll just time the next one? Or so actually... I'm thinking we just skip the... I, I think we're just... Yeah, I'm thinking we just skip the credits on the last few campaigns as well, because we've seen them three times already now. Or this, yeah, this is the, no, this, this is the third time. We've already seen it twice before. We don't need to see them six times, especially since they take like half an hour or something. Yeah. Not that long, but still very long. Yeah, and they're very long. Okay. And for the joke, I can say I can stay in this form. <laughs> okay, but. For the yeah, for ease of editing, I should end the recording here, not the stream that will continue on. 
so yeah right. for it for anyone watching this on youtube after the fact thank you all for watching and until next time have a nice day and until then be safe everyone and beware of the tyrannids it, it roars just as you said that <laughs> <laughs>